There was a monster stalking Sacramento, California between 1977 and 1978. The Vampire of Sacramento. Richard Chase was a strange and troubled child. He wet the bed often, he started fires, and he loved to kill small animals. Those check marks are known as the McDonald Triad. Any two of those can be a predictor of trouble ahead. He was delusional and psychotic. He thought that his blood was turning to powder, and the only way to replenish it was to eat and consume the blood of others. As a child, he would torture cats and dogs, open them up, and eat their entrails and drink their blood. Raw, of course, or it didn't work. As an adult, Chase was discovered in a variety of bizarre situations, being discovered naked in a field covered in cow's blood. His delusions only increased as he grew older. He began to believe that the bones in his skull were gradually falling apart. He injected himself with rabbit's blood to keep his supply topped up. He was eventually put into a psychiatric hospital in his late twenties. But they let him out, believing that he was healed. Chase was a cowardly killer. He didn't care about his victim's age, race, or sex. All he wanted was easy prey. He would stalk around the Sacramento, California area, peering into windows of old, neglected homes, hoping to find the elderly there unprepared. He hated the light and he would seek to find a dark place to enter the home, rattling at doorknobs, checking windows until he found one open. And if he didn't find one open, he would use cunning and break the window quietly and then enter in some dark evil thing, looking for blood, looking for sustenance. Just like his choice of victims, he chose the easiest way to dispatch them, knives, guns, strangulation. He delighted in strangling the elderly. He later said he believed that their strength passed on to him what was left of it. When the police had finally uncovered Chase as a suspect, they found jars of human blood in his apartment, as well as blood-stained clothing. He was injecting and drinking the blood. They also found flesh in his icebox. Lock your windows tight and check your doors. Vampires are real. <laughs>